We coordinated a joint stakeholder submission to the United Nations Universal Periodic Review for New Zealand on behalf of 26 community organisations in Christchurch which focused on the human rights impacts of the devastating Canterbury earthquakes of 2010 and 2011. Today we would like to present to you four key points from our submission. First of all, the earthquakes constituted an unprecedented natural disaster and created major challenges for New Zealand in moving forward from these earthquakes. In addressing these challenges, it is vital that New Zealand adopt a rights-based approach. Secondly, the earthquakes have exacerbated existing social inequalities in New Zealand. And thirdly, the human rights impacts of the earthquakes have demonstrated existing shortcomings in New Zealand's overall human rights framework. The right to housing is um, the right probably most impacted by the earthquakes. Over 90% of houses were damaged. Um, in the quakes and in the now more than three years since the quakes there are still some major issues in terms of habitability of houses, a huge housing shortage, very steep uh, rent increases and pretty much really a housing crisis. Our overarching recommendation is that New Zealand should urgently amend the Bill of Rights Act to provide protection for the right to housing as a right in and of itself. New Zealand has seen a large increase in the number of migrant workers as they come to New Zealand to help with the rebuild. However, there is no short-term framework in place to welcome these migrant workers to Christchurch and New Zealand, and there is also no long-term national strategy for coping with the increase in migrant workers and the implications for all of New Zealand as rebuild work in Christchurch comes to an end. We strongly recommend that New Zealand ratify the, the United Nations Conventions on the Right of Migrant Workers and Their Families. Finally, we want to talk about taking a rights-based approach in the context of the rebuild. The rebuild in Christchurch is now well underway and there are some real opportunities for enhancing human rights. First of all, um, Christchurch currently has the lowest unemployment rate uh, in New Zealand and we recommend, we strongly recommend that the government ensure that employment opportunities are available to everybody. This includes refugees, uh, people with disabilities, migrants, youth and women. And our second point in relation to the rebuild is that Given the extent of rebuilding required, there's a real opportunity to make Christchurch a truly accessible city for, for everybody, including in particular uh, people with disabilities.